Welcome to Live Darts TV. We're here in Brighton on the eve of the Paddy Power Champions League and we've got world number one Michael Van Gogh with us. Michael, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. We see you on Instagram. Nice holiday in Ibiza with the family. Nice and rested and relaxed. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I had a phenomenal holiday. Uh, yeah, but now it's back to reality. Uh, I need to perform again. <laughs> Do you feel you might be short of match practice heading into the Champions League? No, no, no. Uh, not at all. Uh, I had a few days practice on holiday as well, so that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, and then of course this morning I had a good practice with Vincent, and yeah, I had six, seven days practice, so I think I'm ready for it. This is the only televised tournament you haven't won. Is it now a priority to win this one? It's a big priority. Yes, of course. It's a, I need to play well in this one. Of course, this is on my bucket list. Uh, one of my goals this year. So um, yeah, why not? You obviously got a tough group joining Group A. The rivalry of Gary Anderson will continue. They have a tough group, isn't it? <laughs> is it important for you to win the group or just getting out of it? I, I'm not going to lose a game here now. I've lost too many games in this tournament, so I'm now want to go comfortable through the group and hope I can win my game, uh, my games, uh, so I don't lose too much energy in the first day to go into the second one. Oh, see. People say you've had a disappointing 2018, yet you've still won. You've still won so many tournaments. Do you, is it disappointing for yourself that you've lost nah. some? No, nah, of course my my summer has not been great, but I still had a few good results and last few Euro two wins. So I still won more than double than the number two player. So yeah, it's very disappointed, but I I should I would have won more tournaments if I played even a little bit better. Obviously, as well, looking at the rest of the year, we've got the Grand Prix coming up. Steve Lennon in the first round, the home favourite. Looking forward to going back to Dublin, where it all started for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I might be a home favourite there too. <laughs> I always get great support there. So, uh, uh, of course, he's a good player. He does really well, but uh, I, I always make him make it him very difficult, especially uh, uh, in short form of games. Also in the Pro Tours, I played him a few times. Euro Tours, and uh, you need to, guys like that. You need to put under pressure straight from the beginning. And, uh, of course, uh, the, the crowd might be a little bit on their side, but who cares? I, I'm used to it anyway. 2018 seen a lot of changes in the sport of darts. Obviously, Phil Taylor retired. Has, 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 has the sport missed him, do you think, or not? Uh, of course, everyone missed him because he's. We, you used to have great battles with Phil, simple as that. But darts is now bigger than, than, than one player. Uh, of course, I think people miss the games with Phil. I, I agree with that uh, because so it's nice to play Phil because he, he's a phenomenal player. But yeah, we have to move on. Some people get old and they stop the playing darts. And then you have to carry on. Obviously, you touched on the rivalry with him. Do you miss the rivalry yourself? Yeah, yeah, but I got rivalries, uh, rivals with other players as well. And uh, uh, that's now uh, bigger than one in individual, also Phil Taylor. Years ago, he was bigger than the sport, but not anymore. Who's your biggest rival in the game now, do you think? Myself. Plain and simple. Yeah, you need to keep it simple now. I think the biggest rival is Gary Anderson, of course. He's a phenomenal player. Uh, but you have to carry on and you have to make sure you, you play your own good game and then not many people are going to beat me. We're now entering the business end of the season. The calendar is now absolutely packed. Would yeah. winning this send out an absolute huge statement to the rest of the PDC field? Yeah, it would, it would be nice if we can put on a good result straight, uh, get your confidence going and everything, your performance and... Uh, that, that make, makes it easier for yourself because if you don't put on good results you can only make it difficult for yourself. The rest of 2018, have you set yourself any goals or milestones that you want to hit in this, the rest of this year? I just win as much t tournaments as possible. Of course, on my bucket list was this tournament and the Worlds, that's the first ones, but every tournament I'm playing in I want to compete, simple. If you didn't win the Worlds this year, would 2018 be a bit of a failure in your eyes? Of course. 